Uber autonomous vehicle was driving about 40 miles per hour when it struck a pedestrian. There's a trolley coming down the tracks. And you have to decide whether you're going to pull the switch and move it onto other tracks. This is a big challenge. So like for one example, you could say, we want always to give preference for humans over animals. And then uh, you try to apply this to every situation that you come across. The car can identify the object as human, the other as animals to avoid the object that is human, even if that means paying the cost of sacrificing the animal. You could imagine on one side you have a big truck and on the other side you have a cyclist. The car could choose to become a little bit closer to the cyclist or it could choose to be closer to the truck. Now in each of these two decisions the car is introducing more risk to one side. By training the cars on different examples with some feedback about how the car should resolve these kind of scenarios. While most people approve of self-driving cars, they are not willing to buy self-sacrificing cars. Self-driving cars will be minimizing accidents. You're actually minimizing risk to your life. So every day that this adoption is being postponed, that means like loss of more lives. The future of AI technology is not just an engineering story. It's also a story about how we design our societies. We have to continually decide what kind of world we want to live in.